Dairy cows are animals with a herding instinct, which means that they learn and adopt behaviors the dominating animals in the herd demonstrate. In this case, cows are being brought to the barn to be milked. Notice how the cow pushers gently urge them along without yelling or hitting the animals. A simple hand on the back or nudge is typically enough to get the animals to move. Using the herding instinct in a calm, friendly manner is the best way to load animals into a trailer. Notice the paddles these handlers are using. The rattle inside and the strange shape is enough to coax most of the cows in. Remember, be calm and gentle. Use the herd instinct. A gentle touch is usually enough. Dairy cows see the world differently from you and me. Cows can see all around them and only have a blind spot directly in the back of them. A cow may see more than you see and is often distracted by motion off to the side. However, she doesn't see the world as clear and sharply focused as humans see it, and it takes her more time to process what she has seen. She can't see as well down below her so a shadow on the ground may look like a deep hole. This is why cows may balk at shadows or a piece of trash on the ground. The flight zone is the animal's personal space or comfort zone. The flight zone may be five to 25 feet, depending on how often the cows are handled. The flight zone increases when the approach is from the head, and the flight zone also increases when cattle are excited. The flight zone decreases when animals are in a single file shoot. Cows will normally move effectively if the handler works on the edge of the flight zone. Going too close inside the flight zone can cause animals to panic. In this illustration, Position A is the location outside of the flight zone where animals will stop moving forward. And moving into position B inside the flight zone will cause the animal to move away from the handler. Remember, observing and learning animal behavior will help you to effectively move cows. Self-locking stanchions are used in this dairy. The self-locking stanchions are an important part of herd management. Lockups allow for consistent feeding as it prevents dominant animals from pushing the smaller ones aside. They also allow for the herd to be inspected and treated safely while providing a sense of security for the cows as well as the worker moving behind them. Care must be taken when releasing animals, as the locking mechanism can snap on hands. These cows have been habituated to the stanchion since they were calves. Because of the herding instinct, dairy animals feel more comfortable when they can maintain eye contact with their herd mates. Treating a cow alone in a stanchion can cause them to become upset and struggle. If they're treated in a group with their herd mates on either side, they will usually be more calm. Cows should be immobilized with a halter whenever you need to give infusions or injections. Remember, Self-locking stanchions keep cows and workers safe and secure. Use care when releasing a self-locking stanchion. 
Cows are more comfortable with herd mates on either side. Use proper restraining methods when treating animals. Shoots are often used to single out cows for treatment or to direct them into an enclosed area. Because of herd behavior, it is easier to move cows in groups of two or three. One of the best ways to get animals to move in a chute is to walk past their point of balance. The point of balance is a place on the cow around their front shoulder. When you stand in front of it, they should back up. When you stand behind it, they should move forward. Cows with hoof problems or injuries need immediate treatment to keep the injury from getting worse. The safest way to treat animals with hoof problems is with the use of a tilting table. This restrains the cows for their own protection and ensures the caretaker's safety. The caretaker uses a calm, gentle manner as he treats the cows and carefully immobilizes the leg before he works on it. With prompt treatment, these cows will soon be feeling much better. These cows are getting their routine hoof trim with a high-tech trimming rig. This rig allows the worker to safely secure each leg so the cow doesn't injure him or herself. It is recommended that you wear eye and ear protection while doing this work. Notice that the hoof trimmer approaches the animals in a calm, friendly manner. He does not yell or poke the animals. He knows that they will follow the leader into the rig when the one in front leaves. Remember, move cows in groups of two or three. Walk past the point of balance to get the cows to move. Use eye and ear protection when trimming hooves. Bulls can be very dangerous. Every year, people are killed by bulls on the farm. Generally, dairy bulls are more dangerous than beef bulls. Always be aware of where they are when you are in a pen with them. It is best to have two people in together to watch out for each other and distract the bull if it gets aggressive towards one of you. Always have an escape route planned when working in a pen with a bull. Remember, never trust a bull. Jersey bulls are perceived to be more dangerous than Holsteins. Always have an escape route 